Uh, David, I had some degree of difficulty uh, hearing everything that you said, but again, um, I think the administration has, is basically saying to Russia, look, don't do anything overt. Don't come across the border with the 40,000 troops. Don't embarrass us in that way. But you can continue to undermine the sovereignty of Ukraine by doing the things that you've done. And again, uh, I've urged in every way that I can for this administration to go ahead and again, push back now. It's going to be too late, just like, just like we did in Syria, where in essence, uh, let's face it, the wisest thing, I hate to say such a crass thing on Easter Sunday morning, the wisest thing that Assad did really was to kill 1,200 people with chemical weapons. Because in essence, we said, don't embarrass us any more that way. You can go ahead and kill another 60,000 people with barrel bombs and, and another, by other means, but don't embarrass us. And I think that's what we're saying to Russia today by the actions that we're not taking. Don't embarrass us, but you can continue the black ops activities. You can continue the other things that you're doing. We know that over time, you're going to reach the goals that the Prime Minister so eloquently laid out before. You're going to reach those, but don't do it in a way that embarrasses us. Against, again, the world is watching. Our allies in Europe are watching. Our NATO friends and others know that this is where we are. And I think, I, I think we need to step on out and do the things that we threaten, because I don't think Putin will respond to anything else other than us overtly so, doing the things that we've laid out.